Hi, this is David Wolber. I'm going to teach you about um, Android programming and using Eclipse and the ADT, the Android development uh, tools. And in fact, we're going to use the App Inventor Java Bridge Library. But first of all, I'm just going to create a whole hello world in Eclipse with the Android uh, tools. Okay, so I've got Eclipse open, all right, and I'm just going to go and file new and right. It doesn't show App Inventor project or sorry Android project. So I'll go to other and I'll choose Android application project. Okay. So I'm just gonna call I'm gonna call my app. I've already created it, so I'm gonna call this one click grid four. Okay. So we're gonna build an app uh, eventually where you click a button and it turns red. So like the simplest Android app you could you could think of. Um, you're gonna leave these default settings and you API twenty one for the target and compile width, and we'll just leave it. API 8 for the minimum, minimum required SDK. So I'm going to click Next. I'm going to get rid of this Create Custom Launcher icon. Later, you can go ahead and do this. You'll you'll add an image and whatnot for, for when the app launches. But right now, let's just do it with the simplest way. Blank Activity, keep this checked. Click Next and leave this as is. Click Finish. And what's going to happen is it's going to build this app. And for me, it's going to be called Click Red 4. Okay, and, and when you build this app in Eclipse, it basically gives you a skeleton app that just says hello world. Okay, so you can say, okay, I want to run this app. Um, so I click on this green uh, circle with a little white arrow in it, and it, it takes a little while for it, to, for it to go. Let's see if I clicked it right. Um, so you have to be patient while the emulator uh, in, in Eclipse starts up. Okay, so I made one of the very common mistakes I always make. Choose your project first, which is click red four, and then choose to run the thing. And it will ask you what you want to run. You want to run Android application. Say okay, and now it's launching. Okay, if you've plugged in your phone with a USB cord, it will ask you to run it on that phone. If not, it'll bring up an emulator. This, you know, bringing up the emulator actually takes a little while. Like maybe even a minute or two minutes on some systems. Um, so be patient. It will come up and it will show you your app running. Okay, I'll take a break from this video while we wait for that to, to come. All right, so that took, it took about a little less than two minutes for that to load. And I just, you know, paused my video. So the, the emulator loaded, you have to kind of unlock it by dragging that little lock and then in a second here, your my app is going to in, install. Okay, still still going. Let's see. There it goes. So here's my ClickWid Four, and like I said, it just just runs Hello World. Okay, that's that's what it does. Now, the first time you run Eclipse with the Android tools, you may have to set up a what's called an Android virtual device. It's the emulator. Okay, if you need to do that, you'll be taken to this window, or you can go to this window, go to Window and Android Virtual Device Manager. Okay, and you can see I've, I've already kind of created a couple, but you can go to here, and depending on what files you have loaded, okay, what, what, what you installed when you installed Eclipse and the Android tools, um, you can choose one of these guys, and what you do is say Create AVD. Okay, and then when you get to the Create AVD window, you're gonna have to choose some CPU. Like I don't have one set up for for this Nexus 10. I, I would have to install some stuff to get get that installed. But the ones I do have, um, like for this Nexus, I think this is the Nexus 7. Okay, I I was able to um, create it, and then I can just start it to start another emulator. I'm not gonna start now because I've already got it going. All right, so anyway, that's how you build the first Hello World. The next video I'm going to show you will show you, you know, I'll demonstrate how to include the App Inventor Java Bridge. This is a high-level library that makes developing Android apps really easy, and, and even beginning uh, students can, can, you know, at least if they've had some Java, can, can do it. So that's the next video.